Hey YouTube, opinionated reviewer here. And like I said in my previous video where I showed you guys how to unlock any iPhone 4 on iOS 5 or higher, basically your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and your iPhone 4S, I said I was going to show you guys how to back up that unlock. And this is the video showing you guys how to back up that unlock. Now you're going to have to SSH into your device. And the easiest way to do it is iPhone browser. You guys can see I have iPhone browser here on my springboard. I'm going to have a link in the description where you can download this. There's a number of ways to do it. Um, Cyberduck for Mac, WinSCP. iPhone browser is the easiest way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use iPhone browser. So first of all, make sure your device is plugged into the computer. And then you're going to go ahead and run iPhone browser. And if you don't know how to SSH into your device, I'm going to have a link in the description showing you guys guys how to do it or you can just use iPhone browser just download install it plug in your device and just click on it it's gonna open up like this so now we got to go ahead and navigate to var root library and this one that says lockdown you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna save this entire lockdown folder now if you're using WinSCP or one of those it's easy to just hold it and drag it to the desktop but since I'm using iPhone browser I can't do it like that I'm gonna have to go ahead and click right click on the folder and click backup folder so I'm gonna back up this folder and it's gonna go ahead you see down here to the bottom it tells me what it back it up as so that's the number I back it up as so now I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and function and view backup so this is my backup folder here and it should be the one, the last one on the bottom. Just pay attention. I've backed up several things in here. You shouldn't have that much. And just pay attention to the date and the time. So I just saved this one. It's going to be this one. So just drag it on your desktop out of that folder. And you can go ahead and rename it whatever you want. I normally just name it something I know. And just place it someplace that you can find it. I'm not too sure what they're going to need it for, but it's recommended that you back it up. And whenever there's some time that comes where you're going to need this, I'm going to definitely go ahead and do a video on it. But that's basically it. That's how you back up your, um, your unlock, just per se, your unlock that I just showed you guys. If you didn't see that video, link is going to be in the description. It's also going to be at the end of this video. That's basically a quick, simple video. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.